Okay, good morning. Welcome to Pavitra classes. The new topic that is pharmacovigilance. What is pharmacovigilance? When it is existed? What is the importance of pharmacovigilance? These all uh, things you are studying in this chapter. Pharmacovigilance also known as drug safety and pharmacological science relating to the collection, detection, assessment, monitoring, prevention of the adverse effect of the pharmaceutical products. So, once the formulation is done, once the market it is uh, after the marketing of the product the whatever the adverse reactions whatever the adverse reactions and the its data will be collecting detecting assessment monitoring and that prevention of the advance effect will be done through the pharmacovigilance pharmacovigilance focuses on the especially in the adverse drug reactions which are defined as any response to a drug which is noxious so not a, it is not normal reaction so what it is pretended already in the research uh, whatever the reaction should be given uh, in apart from that some uh, unnecessary reactions or unnecessary effects on the body it is called as noxious unintended including lack of efficacy doses normally used for the prophylaxis so lack of efficacy will be there prophylaxis therapy whatever the prophylaxis therapy we are doing uh, instead of that we are getting any un unwanted, unnoxious uh, uh, reactions that is called as uh, the adverse drug reactions. So, to focus on that drug, adverse drug reactions and diagnosis therapy and the diseases, this pharmacovigilance is needed. So, medication errors in, in instead of that uh, adverse drug effects and re reactions. So, what are the adverse drug reactions causes? Maybe medication errors sometimes overdose misuse and abuse of the drugs so we don't know the why it is used or any contaminated contraindication is there that time also misuse it may be misused by any pregnant lady some uh, drugs cannot be taken in the pregnancy time and breastfeeding time it is contraindicated in that time that time if they took that medicine some adverse uh, reaction can be seen that is the misuse of medicine or abuse of medicine so overdosing taking the overdose or uh, without prescription uh, uh, selling of some of the medicines that is the abuse of the drugs so are also of interest in the pharmacovigilance even without an adverse event uh, because they may result in the adverse drug reaction so overdose may give the adverse drug reactions misuse may give the adverse drug reactions and the abuse of the drug may give the adverse drug reactions in the body of the patient so ultimately pharmacovigilance is concerned with the identifying the hazardous reaction so it is not the uh, therapeutic response of the body it is the hazardous associated with the pharmaceutical product and minimizing the risk of that harm so we are after the post marketing we are uh, marketing we are doing the post marketing surveillance through the channels and we are minimizing the risk of that adverse drug reactions from the patients so the source of adverse effects reports many may include spontaneous reports from the healthcare professionals or patients so in the adverse drug reactions spontaneous reports may be there after taking medication immediately some of the hazardous reactions or any noxious reactions will be there that can be reported by the spontaneous reports that can be with the within the spot only so that can be reported by the healthcare professionals and the patients reports from the patients supports the programs reports and clinical and post marketing studies reports and the literature sources so literature sources first for what purpose that drug is used uh, what reactions are we, can be occurred by that drug what are the unnecessary reactions we we have to, we have to analyze through the literature sources after the post marketing study what type of reactions is occurred in the patient's body it can be take, taken place then the data collection will be can be done. So, data collection needs these all the studies like literature survey, post marketing studies, clinical studies like this all the studies and reports should be maintained. So, report from the media. So, including from the social media websites reported drug regulatory authorities. So, regulatory guidelines also should be checked. Pharmacological companies adverse effect reporting is a regulatory requirement in most of the countries. So, what are the drugs, adverse, particular drug adverse events? So, it is very mandatory in the regulatory of the pharmaceutical companies, regulatory bodies. 
बिकॉज टू मेंटेन द सेफ्टी एफिकेसी गाइडलाइंस रेगुलेशन इज रिक्वायर्ड इन द ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द कंट्रीज इन द वर्ल्ड सो एडवर्स इफेक्ट रिपोर्टिंग ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड्स डाटा टू दोज कंपनीज एंड ड्रग रेगुलेटरी अथॉरिटीज दैट प्ले अ की रोल इन असेसिंग द रिस्क बेनिफिट प्रोफाइल इन द गिवन ड्रग सो द फॉलोइंग सेवरल ए आर द रिपोर्टिंग ऑफ द एडवर्स इफेक्ट्स ए ई मीन्स एडवर्स इफेक्ट सो इट इज यूजली बट इट इट विल हेल्पफुल फॉर द पेशेंट इट विल हेल्पफुल फॉर द कम्युनिटी इट विल हेल्पफुल फॉर द फार्माकोविजिलेंस इज हेल्पफुल फॉर द हेल्थ केयर प्रोफेशनल ऑल्सो थ्रू द कंपनीज फॉर द रेगुलेटरी गाइडलाइंस एंड ऑल्सो इट इज हेल्पफुल फॉर द कम्युनिटी ऑल्सो सो फॉर टेकिंग फॉर द रिस्क मिनिमाइजिंग द रिस्क फॉर द पेशेंट सो फार्माकोविजिलेंस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन ऑल द एस्पेक्ट्स so what is the history of the pharmacovigilance pharmacovigilance was officially introduced in uh, around uh, december 1961 after the thalidomide uh, tragedy so thalidomide is the uh, drug it uh, gave the unwanted effects in the pregnant ladies and the uh, child after delivery they seen in the adverse effect in the child in the thalidomide drug so it is banned after that thalidomide uh, tragedy it's a big story of thalidomide after that thalidomide uh, tragedy pharmacovigilance is officially uh, in the uh, all over the world it is taken place so w m c bright the australian doctor who first suspected the casual link between the serious fetal deformities so the australian doctor he uh, uh, thought, given that serious fetal deformities that is phocomelia you know, from the thalidomide drug a drug used in the pregnancy it gave the adverse effect later it has given so after this pharmacovigilance came into existence thalidomide was used in the antiemetic sedative agent in the pregnant women usually it is given for the vomiting purpose and the ss sedative come for the calmness for the uh, to, to the pregnant ladies but in the child it is serious fetal deformity is, is taken place as a adverse drug reactions in 1968 world health organization promoted the program for international drug monitoring and to avoid the adverse drug reactions later in particular the main who program was to identify the earliest possible pv signal so it, the uh, this program again gave into the pharmacovigilance the term pharmacovigilance was proposed in the 70s by french group pharmacologist and the toxicologist to define the activities promoting the assessment of the risks of side effect potentially associated with the drug treatment so pharmacovigilance is the science collecting monitoring researching as i uh, told earlier assessing and evaluating the information from healthcare providers and patients on the adverse effects of the medication biological products it may be blood products it may be herbals vaccines medical devices traditional and complementary medicines with a view of identifying new information about the hazards associated with the these products maybe it may be biological product blood product any product of the uh, any product that is used as a medicine so these are the uh, prevention of the ideas by the pharmacovigilance this is the pharmacovigilance whole the working chart you can say so who are who the people involved in the pharmacovigilance these are the function of that particular people and the structure of the pharmacovigilance so people physician healthcare professionals and the pharmacist medical specialist clinical pharmacist regulatory and the industry officials in the function physician healthcare professionals pharmacist what they will do effects and adverse effects are reported to the data collection and analysis so medical specialist to and uh, clinical pharmacist to them they are giving the effects and adverse effect they are reporting to the medical specialist and the clinical pharmacist and regulatory again it goes to from the medical uh, specialist to a regulatory of the industry uh, uh, officials warning risk management product recall will be done in this in this regulatory and the industry officials so in the physicians and healthcare structure will be pharmaceutical biotechnology industries pharmacovigilance centers 
in the medical uh, specialist and uh, clinical pharmacist here centers will be the safety advisory committee will be there for the this specialist in the regulatory level regulatory authority and the industry health services will be there so after once the this all reported effects and adverse effect is reported to the medical uh, specialist the data collection and analysis will be done if it is uh, shown correct then the warning risk management and product recall is done in the industry level so uh, with the ad, uh, ad, ad, help of the advisory committee regulatory authority and the industry health services prevention of the drug related formers problems adrs especially adverse drug reaction and reduced morbidity and the mortality of the medicines so after that this is the pharmacology working chart so data source through the i told uh, in the earlier side only healthcare professionals pharmacists uh, coroners consumers patients and the pharmaceutical biotech industries these are the data sources selected newly marketed medic medication so once the uh, new drug is uh, come to the market the first marketing surveillance study will be done all medicines including biological herbal drugs vaccines and alternative drugs spontaneous report card is made and the pharmacy prescription data is taken follow up to the prescriber and feedback report so once the you know, doctor prescribes that medicine feedback and, and it should be given in the forms the therapeutic and adverse effect of that drug is evaluated in the report uh, with the report of the patients and spontaneous data online data enter and store for for further use so once that drug uh, adverse effect is seen then it is entered in the data data monitoring in the online databases safety reviews and data analysis is again done with the safety and hazardous committee then adr medicine adr committees will be checked that regulatory agencies and risk communicators again it is reported and they will recall the product in the industry level again the formulation will be what is the benefit or what is the risk of that uh, adverse dr dr drug adverse effects and they can again recheck any formulation uh, this is there then it is again reformulated then it, uh, it is again sent to the quality test and again it is sent to the research r&d department so what is uh, the in indian pharmacovigilance what are the key factors so in 1986 when a few physicians mainly from academic institu institutions called the greater attention to be devoted in the potential adverse effect of the prescription medicine medicines so in 1986 the in in india almost pharmacovigilance centers is generated when india joined with the who adverse reactions monitoring program based in the upasala sweden 1997 in that uh, who committee india is joined in 1997 usually three centers are there in the monitoring of the adr reaction identified mainly based on the teaching hospitals so wherever teaching hospitals are there their adr monitoring centers are generated three majorly uh, generated that is the a national pharmacovigilance center is department is located in the aims a all india institute of medical sciences new delhi so uh, two who special centers are identified in mumbai one is mumbai kem hospital in aligarh uh, jln hospital aligarh these centers were to report the adrs to the drug regulatory authorities one is the main center uh, that is all india institute of medical sciences aims new delhi who special centers in the km hospital mumbai and the jln hospital aligarh so the regulatory authorities of the india the major role of these centers was to monitor the adverse reactions adverse drug reactions to the medicine which are marketed in the india again from 1st january 2005 who sponsored World Bank funded National Pharmacovigilance Program (NPVP) from 2005. NPVP named one for this funding is for program is uh, formulated in India. So the NPVP established in 2005 by the National uh, Pharmacovigilance Advisory Committee based on the CDSCO, that is Central Drug Standard Control Organization. In this. Uh, the main center for the npvp national pharmacovigilance program for india it will be based on the cdsco the main center is the cdsco then again uh, under the cdsco two zonal centers is made 
टू जोनल सेंटर साउथ वेस्ट जोनल सेंटर लोकेटेड इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ क्लिनिकल फार्माकोलॉजी सेथ जी एस मेडिकल कॉलेज के एम हॉस्पिटल मुंबई आई टोल दिस इट इज ऑल्सो डब्ल्यू एच ओ परमिटेड दिस नेशनल फार्माको विजिलेंस सेंटर एंड नॉर्थ ईस्ट जोनल सेंटर दैट इज इन द एम्स न्यू दिल्ली डिपार्टमेंट फार्माकोलॉजी एम्स न्यू दिल्ली वेर कलेक्टेड द इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑल ओवर द कंट्री एंड इट विल कमिटी एज वेल एज टू द उपसाल मॉनिटरिंग सेंटर इन द स्वीडन so then three again in the zonal centers uh, under the two zonal centers then three regional centers are identified so three regional centers will be would report to the mumbai center and two will be reporting to the delhi center so again five will be there three and are the mumbai center south west zone and the two will be in the regional center in the new delhi uh, uh, center then again 24 peripheral centers are in the smaller area so Like this, this is the flow chart. So this is the CDSCO National Pharmacovigilance Advisory Committee main center for the regulatory uh, authorities to check the adverse drug reactions and the pharmacovigilance. This is northeast and this is southwest. Southwest is the Mumbai center. Northeast is the uh, Delhi center. Uh, that is AIMS Delhi. In the Delhi, two uh, centers, regional PV centers are there. Pharmacovigilance. In this, two are there. Then. peripheral pv under this peripheral 24 pv are there smaller smaller centers are there this smaller centers uh, send the data to regional uh, pharmacovigilance center then regional to zonal zonal to national pv centers these are the centers which are generated for the pharmacovigilance so hope you all have understood what is pharmacovigilance it is the collection detection assessment monitoring and prevention of the adverse effect that is pharmacology with vigilance so these are the history and how the pharmacovigilance is done in india what are uh, which are the centers where it is located and the flow chart of the pharmacovigilance centers thank you